Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel. It's me, Rai Kontawi. Before I begin, I just want to let you know, bago ako mag-film, I was experimenting. Um, I did my makeup and then parang bugso lang ng damdamin. I wanted to do something on my face. And yun yung freckles and parang moles and parang I wanted grit. Ayoko ng flawless. Gusto ko ng dumi. Nagkatotoo. Ang dumi nga. So I kind of failed. Pero I don't have time to remove all of my makeup and redo it and start from the beginning. So here I am. Gusto ko lang sabihin kasi just in case na mazoom ko to tapos makita nyo may mga tingi 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 on my face, connect the dots nyo na lang. With that said, I know na excited na kayong malaman ng aking favorite affordable makeup products for 2018. So here's the best of the best 2018 affordable edition. Unlike the high-end and mid-range episode, uh, wala akong enough products for each category to fill in. Uh, let's say, for example, I started with primers and foundation. Uh, right now, I don't have any primers to show you because um, here's how it works. Talagang pumipili ako ng mga favorites ko. So if I present you something just for the sake of presenting something, then that defeats the purpose of me letting you know my favorites talaga. Um, so ito talagang real true na talagang ginagamit ka almost every day. So yung ultimate primer na gusto ko talaga for the year, nandoon siya sa first episode. So go ahead and check it out if you haven't seen the first episode. So right now, I'm going to start with the foundation. I have two brands na nagagamit ko talaga siya kapag gusto ko ng substitute sa mga high-end brands or mid-range brands. And ito yung L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Foundation. And this one is Baliktad pa, no? LA Girl Pro Matte HD Longwear Matte Foundation. Ang pagkakaiba nilang dalawa, ito kasi demi-matte and this one is really matte. This is probably closest to the Maybelline's Superstay Really Matte Foundation. But this one for me works better because una, unahin natin ito ha, mas marami ang shade range niya. Meron talaga siyang sobrang puti down to as in the darkest, which I can use or which sometimes I use it for my contour and bronzing and warming up the skin. While this L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation, you know very well that this is like my go-to every day if I just want to go to the supermarket. Um, this is really affordable. I think it's the strength of L'Oreal. Um, it's 300, 499 pesos. Nag markdown sila permanently. It's very accessible. You can grab this at department stores, drug stores, online they they're pretty much everywhere for concealers bihira na ako mag concealer kapag may foundation na ako for 2018 i'm very blessed nag clearing skin ko nag improve talaga so minimal makeup na yung ginagamit ko my go to concealer actually is makeup forever hd concealer and i think i didn't mention that the first episode so if i didn't here you go hinahabol ko na so pag may foundation na ako hindi na ako ganun ko conceal and then kapag wala naman akong foundation gumagamit ako ng concealer but what i do love sa affordable uh, sa affordable side is this this is LA Girls um, HD Pro Conceal in Orange Corrector they also have other colors may green may I think there's yellow so if you want to correct certain you know discolorations on your face you might want to check this out Last year, maraming brands ang naglabas ng tints nila, uh, blushes, halos, you know, pare-pareho for me. They work, you know, some some didn't, some work, uh, but they almost have the same consistency. But what stood out is this. This is Colorette's Color Tint. What I love about this is that they have a bazillion shades. Bonk. They have a really good shade range. I'm kidding about the bazillion, but you know what I mean. They have the fresh one and the matte variant. And each variant, they have 20 shades. So all in all, they have 40 shades, if I'm not mistaken. Correct me if I'm wrong. Or that's probably 10, no, 10 shades for fresh and 10 shades for matte, I think. And you have 20 shades of color tints. And if I say shades, talagang they vary. You have this really nice warm rose, which really is, you know, something na babagi sa morena or sa kahit mapupute, which is what I'm wearing right now as well. And you have darker shades because they can be used on the cheeks and on the lips. For the eyeliners, I have three brands. Una, itong ultra thin waterproof liner ng Miniso. And then itong Avon's Big Graphic Liner. This is in parang permanent 
marker type, yung felt ang tip. And then, itong Pink Sugar Eye Candy All Day Liner. Lahat sila black. Although, hindi na ako as ma black eyeliner noong 2018, I still appreciate really good eyeliners. And I am happy na nakita ko sila sa inexpensive na brands. And unahin ko muna itong Miniso. Meron siyang brown shade before. Uh, kaya ko pala siya in-include sa aking list dahil meron siyang brown option. However, naubos na siya so hindi ko na siya sa inyo mapapakita dahil natapon ko na yon Ang natira na lang ito. Uh, kaya lang, nung bumalik ako sa Miniso to replenish, wala na sila nito. So, the downside is that inconsistent ang kanilang supply nito. And nung tinanong ko pa nga doon sa isang sales lady, sabi niya, wala kami nito. Sabi niya, wala kami niyan or wala kami non nung, nung binanggit ko. And I was like, ha? Huh? Hindi mo alam na meron kayo non So, ganun siya ka-inconsistent. Parang uh, maswerte ka na lang kung meron sila. Kasi paiba-iba sila ng products, ng liners, ng yung mga makeup line na nandoon. So, that's what I don't like about it. But, this is, I think, the most inexpensive amongst the three. This is, uh, this was only 99 pesos. And, I will swatch it for you. Here you go. And then, punta na tayo dito sa Avon's Big Graphic Liner. I love this because chisel yung tip niya. It may seem intimidating at first, Parang paano to gamitin but it's easier for beginners kasi mas broad ang tip niya so it's easier to create straight lines. Say for example, ito ha, gagawa ako ng straight line right here. See, it's so straight and it's really nice. It's also, you know, very black. I like it. So if you want a thicker line, just tilt the pen and create a thicker line. And then ito, humabol lang ito noong 2018. Medyo na-discover ko siya yata noong December lang or November, yeah, November, December. And nung nakita ko siya or nung natry ko siya, I said, oh my God, this is, mm, this is really, really good. This is Pink Sugar's Eye Candy All Day Liner in Black. Why? It's very black. It's pitch black liner. Okay. You'll see na yung waterproof liner nung, uh, nung Miniso, may pagka, in person ha, may pagka charcoal pa siya. Hindi siya as, you know, black. This one is very black but it's glossy. So you'll see na tumatalbog ang ilaw sa kanya. But this one, geez, it's black. It's carbon black. So, I'm just going to show you my hand. Once again, itong nauna is Miniso, and then Avon, and then the Pink Sugar All Day Liner. And then, ito naman. Subukan natin itong Mersey in Black Moon. Ayan siya. Para siyang dark gray. Same, para siyang charcoal, kasi meron siyang hint of blue, which makes it grayish. And then, we have here, ito, ultimate eyeliner din ito. This is Makeup Forever's Aqua XL. This is really good. So good na nagsetel lang ako sa sample size. Napakaliit. Oh, di ba? Parang kailangan ko pa siyang tasahan. Okay. So, ilalagay ko siya sa pinakataas. See? Oh, super black nung Aqua XL and yung Pink Sugar. Sobrang lapit nila. Meron lang silang slight difference, but for its price, I won't mind. Especially kung ipang tight line ko lang naman siya, ba? It's really, it's really good. Now, to also, um, to also emphasize how amazing it is, I'm going to wet this tissue with my water. I'm going to, if I can soak this one, I will. Kaya lang parang matatapon yata. So, ang mabubura lang dito, itong Avon. Hindi siya waterproof. Ayan, oh. Nagsasmudge na siya. So, medyo tatanggalin ko siya ng tuluyan. Ayun ang downside niya. Maganda siya, pero hindi siya as waterproof. Ayan na. Sobrang basa na nito, ha? Oh. Tapos, oh, lahat sila smudge-proof. Oh, di ba? Siyempre, sasabihin nyo, eh, siyempre, at the back of the hand, yan, wala namang oil yan. Oh, wait, kukunin ko yung makeup remover ko mismo na oil. 
Tignan natin kung ano yung una at huling mabubura. I have here my Biore Cleansing Oil. Again, Miniso, Pink Sugar, Mersey, and Aqua XL. Just one pump. Patuluin lang natin siya. O, ganyan. Tapos, i-massage. Massage natin sila. O. O, next stroke. Para naman pantay-pantay sila. O, una nang nagpaalam ang Miniso. Ngayon, ipapat ko lang sila, no? Para makita natin ang lagay. Oh, nakikita nyo ba? Again, next, second one. Oh, next stroke. Next stroke. And next stroke. Next, pat, pat, pat. Para hindi masyadong madumi. Mm. Standing strong. Pink sugar. Nung na-discover ko, in shook din talaga ako. I mean, I really love it. Ayan, oh, try natin siyang i-hard smudge. Kahit may oil. Hindi siya as madaling mawala. So, it's the perfect liner for tight lining. I love it. I love it. And I'm so happy na available siya locally. For my mascara, lagi naman talaga silang affordable. Parang hindi naman ako gaano nag high-end na mascara. Napaka low maintenance ko pagdating sa mascara. Ang una niyan ay itong L'Oreal Lash Paradise. I'm really hooked. As in, nakastay yung curls ko, um, humahaba yung lashes ko, and then mas humahaba pa siya kapag pinatungan ko or kapag uh, ito ang ginawa kong base. Ito yung Etud House Doctor Fixer, uh, Doctor Mascara Fixer, and ang ginagawa nito is para siyang may mga maliliit na buhok. Alam niyo na uso, yung, yung nagiging viral na parang nasa garap po lang tapos may maraming buhok. Ito, nasa mismong lalagyan niya na. So kapag nilagay ko siya tapos pinatungan ko siya nitong mascara, may lengthening effect siya. Ang downside nito, itong Etted House, is that kapag hindi kayo maruno maglagay or kapag masyadong uh, naparami, pumapasok yung fiber sa mata which is very irritating for a contact lens wearer like myself. Um, ito naman, ang downside naman nito is that masyadong malaki ang wand. There. You know, it's not bad kasi I like the way the bristles are parang crisscrossing. It's not like the plastic, it's not stiff, and it's not like the thick bristles. It works, pero mas maganda sana kung mas maliit para talagang abot sa roots. And then ito naman, well, kailangan nyo lang talaga gaanan yung paglagay. Parang huwag kayo masyadong may excite na humahaba ang lashes nyo. Tapos, it also, it also requires proper layering. Before I head over to my favorite lip products, go ahead and check out the description box below because I will be listing the products down there. And kung posible na mailagay ko yung links or sources, nandun siya. So, check it out. So, ngayon, dadako na tayo sa first favorite lip product ko for 2018 and this is the Black Rouge Tint. This is specifically the Chalk Chalk a variant in C05. I really love this. Una, in one swipe. Diyos ko po, napaka ayan o. Oh. Napaka ano niya. Napaka pigmented niya. It bursts that color, it's a berry color. It's really nice. I usually apply this on the center of my lips to create those juicy lips. I may not have created a sole video yet for Sunny's face, but I found myself grabbing Sunny's lipstick uh, as my go-to lipstick kapag lalabas ako, kapag mabilisan. Tapos gusto ko ng parang matte, like soft matte na uh, maganda. Sunny's face. I have here my three favorite shades. Ang suot ko ngayon is nudist. It's a really, you know, nice nude na may pagka-gray undertone. Let's see. That's here. Hindi naman gray. Parang beige. Ganon. And then, VK must peach. This is the very peachy shade. And lastly, my favorite shade of all, this is major. This is the red one, which as you can see, di ba? Parang, oh, ayan siya, oh. Gamit na gamit. I am the red lipstick kind of girl when it comes to my lips, so I really love it. Number one, formulation. It's really good for its price. It's matte, but it's not drying. You see, pag bukas nyo ng uh, lalagyan, may kita nyo na parang, woo, talagang no sheen, as in solid matte. But once you apply it on your lips, it's very easy to glide on. Um, if it's still drying for you, because there are some shades that for some reason, once it sits on your lips for, for hours, medyo mafe-feel mo na parang ang 
it's medyo drying. It's not the type of drying na magcha-chap yung lips mo, but it's the type na parang alam mong kulang lang ng hydration yung labi mo. So what you can do is apply lip balm underneath. And I think that's that's uh, parang basic, parang dapat lagi maglagay ng lip balm. But I don't. I just put on lip mask every night, but I don't regularly use lip balm, which I should. Um, but also, since nga more on hydrating lipsticks ang mga ginagamit ko most of the time, so that's why I don't need to have one since I have the lip booster. But in case nagagamit kayo nito, go ahead. It's really, it's really good. It's, it's sold out everywhere and I am not surprised because the performance is really good. Maganda yung aesthetic nila, the branding, it's very pleasing to the eyes and the pricing is also very pleasing So wallet. The following are non-makeup products but some of them are the products that I can't live without and discoveries ko rin sila nung 2018 except for one. Well, I'm gonna explain further. Number one muna, itong Elana Brush Cleaner. This is a type of spray and this is the type of brush cleaner na on the go. Is a spray nyo lang siya sa brush and then malilinis na siya. For example, I have this, okay, Let's find a dirty brush right here sa background. Diba? Napaka andaling makuha ng mga props ko. So, this is a very dirty brush as you can see. What you will do is, kukuha lang kayo ng tissue. Mas maganda kung table or itong interfolded na makapal para hindi tumatagos yung liquid. Pwede nyo rin gawin na, ayan, i-fold siya into, you know, a quarter fold. And then, spray it against the paper towel. Oh, no! I got the wrong one. <laughs> makeup, uh, makeup setting spray yung nadumput ko. Okay? This one. Pwede nyo iikot habang minagawa niya. And then, swirl it. See? Diba? Grabe. Sobrang kapit sa tissue. This is very helpful specifically when I go to my makeup clients and kailangan ko ng mabilisang paglinis ng makeup brush. And this dries... Uh, very quickly as well. It's not a type na parang mag ng oily residue or watery residue. So after cleaning this, pwede nyo na siya ulit gamitin. It's really helpful and I find this very convenient and Elana, I think, is the only one I know selling this product. At least this effective product. So I'm going for the second round because sobra yung eyeshadow na ginamit ko doon. And I'm just cleaning it up. Oh, diba? From very, very red to now, oh, almost wala na. So, pwede na kayong kumuha ng ibang kulay para hindi hawa. So, even if, let's say, this is for your personal use, even if you only have maybe three eye brushes, you can still use, um, you can still how do you say this? You can still pack your brushes with different shades of eyeshadows by cleaning it. So let's say for example, meron lang kayong uh, isang eyeliner brush, isang eyeshadow brush na flat, at isang blending brush. So kahit pag gagamit kayo ng maraming shades, all you have to do is layer correctly, unahin nyo muna yung mga light shades, bago yung mga darker shades, and then clean your brush as you go through your eyeshadow process. And again, this is something that I can't live without. Kanina pa nga hinahan ko to, kasi sabi ko, parang, parang hindi ko ito mahanan, bakit parang nawawala? And parang nagpapanik ako na parang, no, medyo puno pa yung akin na, you know, medyo... Medyo, ano siya, medyo na-replenish ko ito. So, hindi pwedeng wala na yun eh. Kasi, medyo panic mode ako pag nawawala yung mga paborito kong products. And then, next one, ito pa, isa pa to. I'm very happy about this discovery. Ito yung Mish Bloomin Eyelashes na nakuha ko from Yesda. This is from Japan. This is also very inexpensive. Um, well, I would say na... Medyo pricey siya for lashes compared to Taiwan lashes. But I would say it's really worth it. I'm not into like dramatic lashes anymore except today. Ako nga eh, parang ano eh, very ano to eh, very hindi naturalize ang tawi. But I wear whatever I want to wear. I wear kung ano man yung nasa mood ako. Um, I still... I still wear dramatic lashes kapag nag-film or like heavy events. Uh, pero kung... Kung light events lang naman din, kung hindi naman like evening look, kung lalabas lang din ako, kung gusto ko ng like natural aura, I go with this. This is really nice. The stranding, the designs, um, the band, yung pagka nylon band niya na hindi masakit, medyo, ma uh, you know, malambot na nylon. It's really, 
I love this so much and I'm gonna hoard more of these and then I also have the Mish Bloomin eyelash glue in fact when you see this badge right here the Cosme Award or Cos or I think it's Cosme Award ito yung parang ano nila Allure Awards it means parang maganda talaga siya kasi awarded siya ng mga you know beauty beauty authorities sa Japan. So, ayan, yeah, meron siyang Cos Cosme Award. And the other one is this. This is by far the best eyelash glue that I've tried. And this is Mish Bloomin as well. And I'm wearing it right now. Usually, usually kapag suot ko tong ganitong kabigat na lashes na to, wala na tanggal dito sa harap or dito sa dulo. But right now, sobrang sturdy pa niya. It's Hands down. Again, I'm gonna hoard a lot of these. And last but definitely not the least on this list, I have here my ultimate favorite contact lens and I think will be forever, uh, will forever be my contact lens and this is Air Optics, which is also what I'm wearing right now and I'm wearing the shade or the color brown. And that concludes our best of the best 2018 affordable episode. Watch out for the last episode, which is the skincare episode. Let me know your thoughts on the comment section below. Don't forget to get subscribed and notified by clicking the bell button below and the subscribe button below as well. Of course, dahil hindi naman kayo makakapag bell. I don't think makakapag bell button kayo kapag hindi pa kayo nakasubscribe. So go ahead and join the squad. And you can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Ola kayo sa Kontawi. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the next episode. Bye!